Quran is clear. You only muhul kitab wal hikmat wal Torah wal Indi. Allah is saying four things. Allah will teach Isa alayhi salam the book and the wisdom and the Torah and the Indi. This was a specific claim made by Mirza Ghulam. Isa alayhi salam was taught complete Torah by a Jewish scholar. He's happy. He's okay with that. He doesn't want to condemn this this man, Mirza Ghulam. And when myself as a common person, even if I make a mistake, a mistake is not like a mistake. I'm a prophet, anyways. To be honest, but the, at least accept. Look, when you say A B C. उट Why you smiling? You go away from the Holy Quran. Why are you smiling at the Yaya? How did the Holy Quran, Isa alayhi salam, no. pass away? Why are you smiling? Mirza Ghulam is lying on Allah's book. And you are smiling. Is this your iman? Mirza Ghulam said that I hate the miracles of the Isa alayhi salam. I hate. And you want to stick with this man, Yaya, and you want to leave the Quran? You always saying on the stream that Quran is the hakam. Quran is the hakam. We are quoting you the Quran. You defending Mirza Ghulam. Allah is teaching you Ar Rahman Allah Al Quran. Allah is teaching you Dr. Yaya. The I am the one who will teach the book and the wisdom and the Torah and the Injil to Nabi Isa Al Salam. Your Prophet is saying he learned from a Jewish scholar, and you want to stick with your Prophet? Have some iman, brother. You are saying to me that you do not accept my interpretation, my brother. All mufassirun, give me the name. Who goes with you? Yeah, yeah. You're giving a deception that there are some mufassirun with you. Not a single mufassir is with you. Nobody Sir. said that that Isa alayhi salam learned Torah from a scholar. Doctor Sir, can you please note down so inshallah you can respond in your turn. When Mirza Ghulam said that Isa alayhi salam learned Torah from a Jewish scholar would you give the same advice to Mirza Ghulam as well because Quran is very clear yu'allimuhu al-kitab wal-hikmat wat-tawrat wal-injil Allah says that I will teach him the book and the wisdom and Torah and the Injil this belief is against Quran so not only lying on Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Mirza lied on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you have to either uh, take this statement against the proof which will be against the Quran or give same advice to the ulama as well so this was answer to your advice to me now after that you said that you know all of these things are irrelevant dr yahya these are special revelations listen very carefully according to mirza ulama even sayyidna isa alayhi salam might have understood this matter number 1 this matter was kept hidden from all the earliest generations these details which are being given to mirza ulama who special ilham you are calling them irrelevant brother he is your prophet have some respect for your prophet brother yeah yeah okay and the and i am saying it again for the people these details make up your narrative if details are false narrative is false as well i only mention two point respond to them please okay jazakallah brother first of all with regard to the learning the torah from uh, other people that is not our today's topic Our today's topic at death of Isa alayhi salam, whether he's alive or dead. I'm not going to let you move away from the topic, brother. My question to you is, uh, brother. Yeah. Sorry, brother. Yeah, yeah. Brother, you, you, you raised. Uh, I'll pause your time. You, you, you raised that for the brother already. You raised the same thing. You said to him the same allegation, the same warning you gave him. That is now what you're being said in the last stream. And I am to ask, with all due respect, it's not a, it's not someone who would be put in the place of someone like a prophet. Okay, you want me to put now the question is, the question is, the question is being put to you. But the thing is, you're, is you're, you're putting aside something that you've insisted for somebody else. Uh, that's the thing. You insisted. Today's topic, brother. So then, why did you, why did you raise that then? It was today's topic. He mentioned about salaba. That was today's topic, brother. No, you raised it initially. You raised it initially. You yes, raised it initially. Today's topic, brother. Understand that. So, so are you going to apply the same thing? Because we're talking about Jesus speaking upon him. Same topic. Mm -hmm. That he was taught the Torah and the Injil by a rabbi. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, can, I can quickly discuss that. Now, that's no problem, and then I will move forward. When okay. we Allah says that we gave, we taught him hikmah and Torah and Injil. Allah Taala, when it comes to prophets, obviously the hikmah of that of those books. Allah teach them, teach them those uh, prophets. Otherwise, look, 
Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, obviously he was born in Bani Israel from very childhood. It's not, it's not possible that he will say, I'm not going to read Torah, I'm not going to read Torah. It's, it's against common sense, brother. Anyway, they, Allah is talking about hikmah there. Now, my question. Brother, we can start, we can do this in another, another day, brother. It is not today's topic. Please. <laughs> yes? Brother, now, my no, question so, is going back to brother, today's brother, topic. Brother, my under, one second, for my understanding. So you're saying that actually Jesus Peace Morning was taught by the rabbis. And you said actually this for all the prophets. They were taught by the teachers of their time. Is that what you're saying to me? Listen, brother, because you didn't, you didn't, you didn't call it. You didn't say just Jesus, peace be upon him. You said all prophets. It is not forbidden in the Holy Quran the normal day-to-day -day things or languages or old books of religious books cannot be taught to a prophet by other people. Who taught? Okay, I, okay that, who I understand. Taught, one second, ten commandments. Who taught Hazrat Harun those ten commandments? Allah or Hazrat Musa al Islam? So, we, but well, the question is not about this. The question is about a rabbi, not a prophet teaching a prophet. So you you yeah, agree that somebody can teach them? The difference between somebody the two. Can teach them. No, 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 no. This is the difference. You see, a prophet teaching is not the same as a rabbi teaching a prophet. You, to even suggest that these are the same is is a problematic way of thinking. You, the Quran is saying that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala taught this to Isa Alayhi Salam. So you're saying that. It was, Brother, it was, I think, rabbi, I think we're going from the topic. We're going. I'm not going to let this is important because you said this applies to all. Please, this is a, to the you said, La yeah, we can. Well, your, time is poor. your time is poor. So this is a clarification no, with, that's with, fine. being made. We can discuss another day. It's a, it's a clarification being made on a very important point. We can rather discuss another day. No problem. So, but today's I want to, okay, so for my understanding, for my understanding, from my understanding, you're avo but you're avoiding the very straightforward question you, that you I raised. He was saying that language is, no, 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 Quran is clear. Allah is saying four things Allah will teach Isa alayhi salam, the book and the wisdom and the Torah and the Injil. And this was a specific claim made by Mirza Ghulam. The Isa alayhi salam was taught complete Torah, complete Torah by a Jewish scholar. And we have given this reference, inshallah, if you want. Now, why I raise this point? The reason was, the reason was, the reason was he was giving a very good advice alhamdulillah i can like, find my position his prophet is lying on allah he does not want to give him the same advice i wanted to see the same standard because his prophet goes against allah's book he's happy he's okay with that he doesn't want to condemn this this man and then myself as a common person even if i make a mistake my mistake is not like a mistake of a prophet anyways to be honest but still i can like, find my position so i i think that uh, maybe you know there's some problem with the comprehension of Nadia, I, I believe. I don't know. I have, I have a point to raise. Imtiaz uh, Bhai. Uh, um, now, if Mirza had read the Quran carefully, which clearly he did not, he would have known that Allah made Isa alayhi salam even as a baby. This is a point. This is a point no one has yet looked at. Okay. If Allah is declaring Isa to be a prophet alayhi salam as an infant, because Isa is speaking from the cradle that I am the slave of Allah and Allah has made me a Nabi and a sign for the day of judgment. All of these things Isa is speaking as an infant. Therefore, it is clear that Isa salam has been given the knowledge, knowledge by Allah even as an infant. Okay, so this dismantles Mirza's entire claim that he had to be taught by rabbis. Why would Isa salam get any classes from rabbis when he's speaking from the cradle as a baby, as a miracle, that he is a prophet of Allah. Now tell me why Mirza had to come up with this. Why? Dr. Yaya, over to you. When when Isa alayhi salam is announcing his prophethood from the cradle as a baby, as a baby, as a suckling baby, infant, he's saying, I'm a prophet of Allah. And he explains his characteristics. Why does he need rabbis? Tell me. Tell me why. Okay. You said that... Um, with regard to your question, I've answered it. My question to you is, brother, now, with regard to these words of the Holy Quran, can you please tell us whether our Rasul, our Rasul, in this Kablehe Rasul, Hazrat Isa al Islam is included or not? Secondly, you said that there are certain details. Time is stopped. Time is stopped. I haven't started the time because you haven't responded to the question. Um, 
No, it was my turn, brother. This was yeah, I know. Turn. I haven't started your time. I haven't started your time because, brother, I've not asked you, and this is really important. Uh, brother, this is a really question important is question. Relevant to today's stream, and I'm not going to go away from stream, brother. As uh, today's no, topic, you, we have to brother, discuss you, it. You, you, I, you I will tell you why. I will tell you why, brother. What's happening? No, one second, uh, uh, brother Yahya. One second. Uh, it's not that I want you to tell me why. You raised the topic. You warned brother MTRs about this. And actually, there's a statement of Ghulam Reza Ahmed, which is actually going against the statement of Allah in the Quran. And this is very, it's not a small thing. And, and therefore, clarification on this big thing needs to be had. We need to understand why, what you did the Ahmadiyya believe about this. Because if, if you're saying that uh, Isa al Islam was taught by a rabbi when the Quran is saying the opposite, this is a problem. So I'd like you to please explain this, and then I haven't started your time again because this is—I know this is not on the top, but specifically on the stream topic. But you raised this, and then I will restart your time when we start talking about the verse that you brought up, which is we know we will discuss. But straightforwardly, just explain because this doesn't make sense to me. But to a Sunni Muslim, this does not make sense, and I want you to understand that we're not asking you as a gotcha, gotcha catching you out. On it. This is something that you made, and this is a point. So, what? How would you respond to this? How would you explain? This point to us, brother. First of all, I did not make that point. Brother Imtiaz, according to my understanding, has tried to change the subject that he brought this point in. I didn't bring that point. So let's go back to the point which is today's stream, please. It keeps on happening in your program. You announce one stream, and then an, a stream goes from point A to B to C. An actual topic, which is whether Isa Islam is alive or dead, has not been discussed. We're going about extra points. So please. If you want to discuss this, let's have another stream. We will discuss this topic, no problem. But today's stream topic is, I told you, whether Isa Islam dead or alive. So let's discuss so, that. Okay, so um, so yeah? this, so just to be clear, where, where you're being asked about a specific statement of Ghulam Radha Ahmed, where he says that uh, Isa Islam was taught by a rabbi, and the Quran, Allah makes a specific statement where Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he taught Isa uh, ibn Maryam the, the, the Torah and the Injil. Now these are contradiction, and rather than help us with this, you you want to move on. Even though you raised the issue about uh, applying something to an, a, a, an authority like Prophet peace be upon him incorrectly, and we're talking about applying Ghulam Reza Ahmed, applying something to Allah incorrectly, uh, you're you're walking away from. It. Okay, we will leave that. I'll let the you, the viewers decide about this, and that's we can fine. move on. So please, you got yeah. you got your uh, time still. Yeah. Make your point yeah. about the verse. You yeah, like yes, that's fine. Brother, with regard to these all these allegations. We have answered them for over 100 years. Yeah, but we, but you're not answering years. them now. So That's 100 years ago, 100 years ago, brother, oh. brother, brother, yeah. 100 years ago uh, the many people in the stream were not present. Okay, that's fine. And they we don't have, have access to those explanations. That's why fine. We, we, we shall explain in our stream. Not going to, we're not no going to allow this escape route. We're not going to allow you to keep saying this, that we have answered these for 100 years, and yet you cannot answer them today in front of us right now. Where is your 100 years yeah, when, when it comes to you answering the question? Why doesn't this literature help you when we pose the questions? By you just saying what we have answered for 100 years doesn't mean that you have answered the question. Okay, bring the answer right now to us. You okay. have answered the question. Brother, fine. If you want... Why can't you answer them right now in front of us? Where are your answers? Okay, simple question. Jesus was told by Allah in the cradle when he was a baby, he spoke to defend his mother from the cradle that he's a prophet of Allah. Okay, why does he need rabbis to teach him that? That is a prophet of Allah. Prophet means revelation. He has already been taught. Allah has already transferred the data to his mind. Because he's a Nabi. He's already a prophet. He's saying, he's speaking as a baby, I'm a prophet. Okay, I will be a prophet. I will be a sign of the... For sign of, how can a prophet then go to rabbis? Most of them who were, most of them were disbelievers. And the Quran says amazingly, That Allah cursed, I mean... Uh, the, the 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 disbelievers on the Banu Israel were cursed on the tongues of Jesus, Isa al -Salam and Daud -Salam. So many of them were disbelievers. Why would he go to disbelieving rabbis, the ones he's condemning himself, yeah, to learn from them? How does this make sense? Mirza is redundant on so many different levels. Mirza was out of his his depth, you know, on so many levels. He did not think cl clearly about the Quran. For him to claim that Jesus Isa al -Salam, had to go to rabbis to to learn the Torah and his commentary. In fact, he came to confirm the Torah. He's the one teaching them what Torah is. He's telling them, don't abandon the Torah. Don't play games with the Torah. So come on, guys. Okay, you have answered this for a hundred years. Can you give me the answer right now to this question? Why does he need the rabbis to teach him when he's a Nabi as an infant? Okay. 
So you, this question is because it's not related to the specifically the, the topic. I want you to answer this question and I'll start your time. So you have more time. I think, brother, I have answered this question according to my capacity. And I've told you that Allah is, taught, is uh, talking about hikmah of the of, uh, of Torah and, and Injil, not words. I've given you answer. If you don't want to accept it, it's fine. Okay. Where did you get this answer from? Where did you get this, yes, this answer? Yes. Brother. I think uh, now people are listening. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad said that Isa alayhi salam ne Torah ek Yehudi alam se ki. And you are saying that he blah blah blah. Words. So the, at least accept No, it. when you say A, B, C, or te alif, uh, alif, be, be, that's Sikhi. Not Hikma. Uh, okay. Hikma Allah who, don't, don't, who, no, who said this? Mirza said this. Show me. Where? This is not today's topic, brother. And I'm not going to let you change. Please. At least acknowledge that you you are saying that you are answering for 100 brother yes. you right now have yes. no answer and you do not have this uh, yes. you can say credibility all these answers in this book go and read it please you know what you know you know what you know what dr yahya you know why you guys are in trouble because this is the book you come when you come to the street. alhamdulillah narrative has moved on the I era you are in trouble brother, that's not letting yeah, you yeah, speak dr yahya wait dr yahya wait the era of pocket book has ended. Alhamdulillah. Narrative has topic. moved on. Condemn topic. Mirza. Topic, brother, okay. please. Mirza go. Okay. Every stream, Dr. Yaya, you say, oh, Quran, Quran is hakam. Quran says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught the Torah to Isa alayhi salam. Mirza Ghulam said he learned from a Yehudi alim, a Jewish scholar. And you do not have the iman to say that Mirza was lying. What are you doing, Dr. Yaya? Look at your face. You're smiling. Brother, is it, a, is so it a joke for you? Why are you smiling? Did you go away from the Holy Quran? No, why are you smiling at the Yaya? What is the joke? Holy Quran? Isa alayhi salam no, has passed away. Why are you smiling? Mama Muhammad alayhi salam has passed away. Mirza Ghulam is lying on Allah's book. You are smiling. Is your Iman? Is it your Iman? Brother, I have given you the answer. If you don't want to accept it, it's up to you. Not the answer. You did not give like any answer. You said Isa alayhi salam. Like Rafi Deen. Please. It is not about Ikraha. What if they are lying? What Imtaz by saying is that you are saying things that cannot be found in the Quran or the writings of Mirza. You're making things up. You're sitting there. Adnan Bhai, Adnan Bhai, not Adnan Bhai. It is different. No, no, not found. It is against the Quran. Against the Quran. Against what Allah is saying. And he has no Iman to say that Mirza was lying. And there are so many reasons to, to believe that Mirza is lying. Because as I said, Jesus was given the glad tiding of prophethood as an infant. Okay. Allah, Allah is making him speak from the cradle. So Allah is Allah is the one teaching him the Torah. Because when he's a Nabi, obviously Allah has given him the, the characteristics of a Nabi as, as, as an infant. So information has already been given to him. We believe that. It's a miracle. He spoke from the cradle as a miracle. He was a sign of Allah. So why does he need a rabbi to teach him the Torah? You tell us, doctor. Yeah, yeah. Just like Mirza was saying that he was put on the cross. Mirza had to nail him on the cross, even though the Quran is saying, no, he was not nailed on the cross. The Quran is saying he was not on the Adnan cross. Bhai, Adnan Bhai, Mirza Ghulam said that Mere aane ka hai ke ek nabi ko You want the reference? Translate that, please. Translate that, please. Sir, for them. Yes. Mirza Ghulam said the purpose of my coming is to kill a prophet, i.e. Isa alayhi salam. And you know, when I say, when I say in my discussions with the Qadianis that uh, Mirza killed Isa alayhi salam, they get offended by it. They get, they start itching. And they don't realize that their own prophet said this, that I have come to kill Jesus. And you know, with Jesus, he came to kill the Jesus. The prophet Muhammad talked about, talked about in Mutawatir reports that he will come, the son of Mary. The son of Mary will come near the end of time, near the end of uh, the day of judgment, near the day of judgment, son of Mary will come. Adnan Bhai, Adnan the... Bhai, Mirza, Mirza, Ghulam, Mirza Ghulam said that I hate the miracles of the Isa alayhi salam. I hate. Yes. Do you want me to go on and on? And you want to you, you want to stick with this man and you want to leave the Quran? You always saying on the stream that Quran is the hakam. Quran is the hakam. We are quoting you the Quran. You're defending Mirza Ghulam. Show me from the Quran. Allah says in the Quran, you kitab wal hikmata wal not just it, this ayah comes in the Quran multiple times. Okay. Allah is teaching you Ar Rahman Allah al Quran. Allah is teaching you Dr. Yaya. The I am the one who will teach. The book and the wisdom and the Torah and the Injil to Nabi Isa alayhi salam. Your prophet is saying he learned from a Jewish scholar and you want to stick with your prophet? Have some Iman, brother. I think I think the point here, I just want to sort of 
because I think my brother, brother I said exactly the, the same thing. Wisdom from the Holy from Allah. Well, Allah. One second, That's brother. What I said. Yeah. So, Parting. What the, the point here is that this, the reason that this this di digression started was because you brought this recording. That's the reason. No, this no, is the reason. This is because, because this is the reason. Brother, brother, yeah, one second. This is the reason that it started. And with this, you made the allegation that you have to make sure that you don't say things that go against the Prophet, peace be upon him. And this is where this topic has arisen from. And now we're on that point of well, giving an example of Ghulam Raza Ahmed saying something against the Quran, against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the response you're giving is we've answered this for 100 years, but that's not a response. Or you're showing us a book without telling us what's in it that is a response. This ayah is a katiyu sabut and katiyu dalala. This ayah is cut, which means it is definitive yes, yes. in terms we of believe in that verse and definitive. We, we believe but every word of the Mirza Ghulam is going against a definitive ayah of the Quran, and people are watching right now. That in your stream, you are the one uh, chanting all the time. Quran is the hakam. Quran between us and and today you want to leave the Quran for Mirza Ghulam. I th you know, our brothers, I think that Can I speak? Well, I, that's I, fine. I, I think what we should do is we should maybe move forward from this, if you rather brothers allow, and then we can yeah, maybe because I think the point has been made. And I think it's Iman, very clear you what need to, Iman, 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 look, look. Yes. yes. The problem is this. Okay. They have to respect our time as well. He need to apologize for what? For what? For not being able to say that Mirza Ghulam was lying because we have quoted Quran. Now, on the one hand, we have the honor of the Quran. On the other hand, honor of Mirza Ghulam. Which one you choose not Yaya? Okay, I will tell you. That's fine. Brother, I Please. said the words of the Holy Quran which you quoted. We, Ahmadi Muslim, believe in that verse of Holy Quran. Your interpret interpretation is wrong. Allah is talking about hikmah there. That Allah told hikmah to, uh, to, to Hazrat Isa al -Islam about Injil and Torah. That's what we believe in. That's what's in the Holy Quran. Why, why? There's nothing okay, to now, Allah says in the ayah, differently, we interpret differently. Wait, wait. Allah says in the ayah, Allah says in the ayah, Alimul Kitaba, Wal Hikmata, Wat Taurata, Wal Injil. Allah says four things, and yeah. you want to interpret all the four things as Hikmah? Allah doesn't know this. And you know, Secondly, you are saying to brother, me, brother, you are a brother, Yaya, discussion, brother. Yaya, wait, wait, wait. You are saying to me, you are saying to me that you do not accept my interpretation, my brother. All Mufassirun, give me the name. Who goes with you? No, okay, the... listen, brother. Yeah, Isha al can, wait, I, wait, can I speak? Isha al Isha al wait, 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 because you're giving, a, listen, you're listen, giving a deception. Yeah, yeah, you're giving a deception. You're giving a deception that they are, yeah, yeah, you're giving a deception that they are some Mufassirun with you. Not a single person is with you. Nobody so, said that, that Isha al Islam learned Torah from a scholar. Brother, brother, I think I think that the point is is well made and actually sufficiently made and deeply made, and I think that it's clear to see what what position this is. And okay. unfortunately, this stemmed from this tactic of bringing a recording on brother, to make yeah. a point, which was not it just it changed the tone of the whole discussion into okay. a bad tone, and we don't really want this to happen. Yeah, brother, fine. Yeah. Just one thing from Tafsir Ibn Kasir, and that will answer your question. Tafsir Ibn Kasir, it is under Tafsir Surah Fatiha, and is written. Ibn Rasulullah Rasulullah So please, brother, apologize to the public that you okay, will lie in the Mufassirun has got his mouth on us. Carry on reading, please. Now, Alhamdulillah, now it's getting somewhere. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah is the one who taught Torah to Isa salam. and Ibn Kasir you quoting is saying he is quoting from someone I not check yet but uh, let me take it on its face value okay you are saying that Ibn Kasir claims that he uh, he went to a muallim a teacher do you want to go with Allah now your principle is if something goes against the Quran that must be rejected in this case when this goes against the Quran why you are not rejecting that I will tell you I will tell you I am this this proves that whatever I was saying was right and from this verse of the Holy Quran which you were referring to it means Hikmah Allah teaches to teaches to the Rasul and, and Prophet oh. Ibn Kasir is with us don't 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 say anything to wait, me wait. okay Ibn Kasir is with you right with this yes so in the in, in the tafsir of the ayah the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say that I taught Torah to Isa alayhi salam 
and you are saying that Ibn Kathir's position is that he learned from a scholar, and then you are having the audacity to say that Ibn Kathir is with you. Now, listen, Dr. Yaya, let's end it here. In the next live stream, I'm going to put on the screen just to save people's time that you have died on Ibn Kathir as well. So that's fine, but let's go back to today's topic. You can do whatever you want, but the next stream, fine, no yes. problem. Let's go to but today's topic. Not with you. You are lying. My, my time no, look, 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 he keeps saying, he keeps saying this is about hikmah. Allah separately mentions four things. Kitab, four things. Uh, Torah, and Injil. Okay? Now, there are so many other examples. When Allah says, فَإِنْتَابُ وَأَقَامُ الصَّلَةِ وَآتُ zakat," When they make Toba and pray and give zakat. So if we were to say now, Toba means basically you don't need to pray in zakat. You don't need to do it because Toba is on word. Okay? Or if the Quran mentions with Vudu, you know, فَقْسِرُ وُجُوهَكُمْ وَأَيْدِيَكُمْ Okay, wa, wa, wa. Wa is a separator. Wa is a separator in the Arabic language. It separates one idea from another. Brother, I think I have we given you answer. If you don't uh, like it, it's fine. Point, inshallah, we move you on. don't have my to agree with me. Comment, my last comment on this one, and then we move on. Now, listen the viewers very carefully. Ahmadiyya clerics, they are chanting day in, day out that they would not accept anything that goes against Quran. Guess what? Today, when Quran was saying one thing, and now they are trying to find something for Ibn Kasir in order to reject the Quran, it shows that they have only one principle. That is to defend Mirza Ghulam and use whatever you can use. And this is a perfect example of that. That's it.